Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel! If you're here, my name is Vita and today I am being a main character because we are going to the park and reading at the park. And you know what we're reading? Dark Academia. Because we need to be in the fall vibe mood and everything. You know, pumpkin season. So we're going to be reading The Atlas 6. So I thought I'd take you all with me on this little reading vlog because why not? But before we start, I'm going to have to make a tea because I'm quite cold. And I feel like a warm tea in a to-go cup could be pretty nice. Before that, I want to show you all something because you know what I bought? I bought pumpkins! I love pumpkin pumpkins. I had pumpkin yesterday for the first time in a couple months. And I was like, mm, this is the correct food to eat now. Like stuffed pumpkins, pumpkin soup, and anything with pumpkin and... I love pumpkin! Let's go make a tea really quickly. Hello friends, can you see me? I think you can. Let's fill this with water. Boil it. Here's my to-go cup. And now let's pick a tea. We have uh, ginger orange and mint. Those are the only ones. Oh my gosh, everything else is empty. You know what, let's do ginger orange because I'm still a bit sick and you know, I kind of want to drown out the sickness with tea. You like that? Now we have to wait for the tea to be done. Okay. Pour it up, pour it up. It needs to be really tight because I'm scared it's gonna spill out. Now let's go pack my bag really quickly and then we can go to the park. I'm super excited. Bag, hair tie. These are like throat relief tablets. Highlighter for my book. The book we're obviously going to be reading, which is the Atlas Six. Um, and I really like it, but I put it off to finish other books on my TBR. But now I'm gonna continue reading it today. And I'm like, why not do it outside then? My keys, necessary, otherwise I won't get back into the house. And my tea. We're also going to walk. Where are my headphones? Because I need to listen to music, obviously. Oh, I just found them again. Let's put on some shoes and go. We are wearing my Doc Martens. Slaytastic. I hope I don't get blisters. I usually always get blisters, but that happens in any shoe. Cancel my feet, please. I keep singing the song by Conan Gray today, like the family line. It's been stuck in my head for the past few hours, and I love it so much. I'm trying to catch up on my Dark Academia TBR because I'm really into witches right now and fantasy, so I feel like I might really get into the Dark Academia now. This is what my feet look like. That's really funny looking. Let's walk. I hate love, I hate happy people, I hate everything. I want this, why can I have this? I want a boyfriend who will go to the bookstore with me and cuddle with me, and I want somebody to cut out a heart on a fucking tree. I love. Okay, I know where I'm gonna sit. This is like a side walk, I would say. <laughs> Too great. That's the view. I love you. This is why I need to stop smiling at people because I smiled at this old lady and then her dog jumped onto my bench and it wouldn't leave me alone. I mean, like, I want to be nice to people, but like, <laughs> leave me alone. The dog was cute though. But then the dog had to leave and the dog tried to eat my tea and I was like, mm, that's for me. Sorry, but I'm going to gatekeep my tea from the dog. So I'm sitting here, right, reading, doing my basic business. And then I see like two moms from people from my school arrive and I'm like, <laughs> Let's keep, let's keep just annotating. Let's pretend I'm really busy. They're like, Matt, hi, Matita, hi. <laughs> oh my God, what are you doing right now? I'm like, reading. They think I'm studying. I'm like, I'm just going to pretend I am studying, I guess. I mean, thank you for thinking I'm that smart. Anyways, it's fine though. I'm on page 123. It's really interesting. We're talking right now about how the school's even built up. Also, I haven't talked about the book in the beginning. I really like the characters. I really like them. I'm, my favorite is Parisa. She's really cool. I don't know. Something about her is just really interesting. Nico and Libby are supposed to be academic rivals to lovers so i'm very excited to see because they're definitely rivals so far and we have a few other characters that we don't know a lot about yet callum seems really interesting i keep hearing people coming and i'm too fucking terrified of all myself since we were talking about dogs first i have a fake scenario for you all basically here's what happens you're sitting on your bench reading like i do being the main character and then you see this hot man walking and you're like oh my god uh, and he's like really distressed and he says have you seen my dog and you're like no oh my gosh you lost your dog he's like yeah i just got him a few weeks ago and then you go do you want my help and he goes yes that would be amazing so you two spent hours searching for the stock in the park because he got scared of some horse or you ran away and while you two search for the dog you guys get talking you talk about your hobbies and he likes reading too you say you love dogs too you find out a bit more about his dog and you get really close you connect so the next day you guys go walking dog together and true love 
We really are trying to betray people here. I feel like the betrayal trope is gonna happen. And I'm terrified. Because if somebody hurts Parisa, I'm gonna cry. I love that girl so much, okay? A person just stared at me. Mind your own business, David. I love Gideon. Nico and Gideon are amazing friends. I love those two people. The love they have for each other. Masi? Yeah, that's her. That's my sister. Fucking, you can see her. Right there. There she's walking. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. So, since my dog is here now with my sister, I'm gonna walk home. We have one more page left of part four. And I was already down here. Promise me. Anyways. So cute! Oh my god, I'm rooting for this couple, but I don't think they're gonna end up together. That would be so sad. Oh my god, I'm so fucking terrified. Anyways, I'm on chapter five now. Okay, that's so scary. Okay, let's walk home. Parisa is still my favorite. And I kind of liked Libby now, which I didn't expect. I'm walking home now and I already have blisters again, which is just great. And my sister is for some reason running away from me. I'm currently at my parents' place. I think my brother has to drive me home because my feet are bleeding. I wish I could show you, but it's- It's horrible. It's horror, it's hell in here. There's blood running down my foot. You're about to witness the best snack on this planet. And that is, hey. That is so disgusting. And that's tomatoes with salt, pure. And you eat them like an apple. What? Right like this, and you bite it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> the perfect mix of salty, sweet, and it melts together on your tongue. It's so good. I love yeah. tomatoes. Now my siblings are fighting for the salt. I am a champion. Look at that. This is what my feet look like from the back right now. This happens in every shoe I have. Oh, this is Casper, my, my driver. Hello! Shuffle! Whoa! Vroom! I'm in my mom's car. Vroom, vroom. Buckle in, bitch. We're going shopping. Yes, so ah! I'm gonna show my brother some songs now that I need him to listen to. I just got home. My brother drove me, so thank you, Casper, if you're watching this. We're having a matcha. I don't know if you can see me. Eh. Yesterday, I tried making a matcha and I failed, okay? I really failed. I put too much water into it and I also don't really like oat milk that much. So today, I added soy vanilla milk to it. It's cold too. It does taste better. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Oh my God, I actually do like it. I was really scared I wasn't going to like it because I didn't have any sweetener, but now I do. So it does taste good now. And now the church is ringing because they can never leave me alone. I'm gonna drink this now and read a bit more. Mm, this is addictive. This is not good. Uh oh. Stop, we have to get the book. I really like the book. I really like it. I didn't expect it to like it that much, but I really do. And I've been underlining and highlighting a few things that I like. Mostly Parisa. For some reason, I just thought about why hair grows on your head. I don't. Where did I just get that from? There's nothing here. Like, oh my god. <coughs> Yeah, you saw that light flickering while I was coughing. That means a demon was just transferred into my body. And you know what that means? I will die soon. And then if you in a few weeks notice cracked spines of your books on your bookshelf, know that I, the ghost, the spine breaker, has come to your room to haunt you and your bookshelf. Thank you. Oh my god, Libby Rhodes is amazing. I love her. Holy shit. This is such a cool scene. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, she is so powerful. I keep forgetting how powerful all these people are. This is amazing. That's so cool. <gasps> it's all about the vibes, bro. That's so hot. Oh no, why would you say that? They're so cute together. Oh my god. This is so romantic for no reason at all. I love these two people. Oh my gosh. They're really cute. Oh my god, Parisa. Yes. I love this girl. 
Oh my god, Parisa, I don't know what's happening with you, but it's very interesting and I'm kind of scared right now because even Dalton doesn't know what's going on and that means something. Like, this is scary right now. I like all the girls in this book. I love Parisa, I love Reina, and I love Libby. I think I like Parisa still the most, and then Libby. We haven't heard a lot of Reina. That's her, by the way. She's so cool. I've been highlighting just things I think are really interesting and tabbing a few things, but yeah. I'm over halfway done now, so that's pretty good, honestly. But it's really good so far. I really like it. I wonder what the mystery, though, behind it is and everything, what the game is, so. Okay, I've been editing for the past hour, so I think I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna finish at the six tomorrow. Hopefully, I like the ending, because I'm not sure. I'm really terrified terrified as I already said probably no one gives a fuck but I'm gonna show it anyways and that's my tab glossary because I wanted to explain which tabs I use for what blue is knowledge or I use the quote knowledge is carnage but it's anything to do with the knowledge and then gray is anything that has to do with the school and the society the secret society light blue is foreshadowing because I feel like there's a lot of foreshadowing in here green is jealousy and dark emotions basically wanting to hurt somebody you know all that stuff right hatred jealousy and then red is academic rival romance aka Nico and Libby because I know that they end up together from like other people and that's like a thing they annotate so I'm like okay whatever orange which is power dynamic and usage of power anything to do with power put that orange in there stick it on there light beige which is my favorite quotes a pink one for destruction and rebirth so yeah those are my tabs for annotating that is the end of my video now and i hope you enjoyed this short little reading vlog with some other things in between aka my broken feet and if you did you can give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content you can subscribe i hope you all have a great day evening night time morning whatever time zone in i hope you're enjoying yourself go read a book and you know what read the atlas six if you haven't read it because i'm reading it right now and so we can be hashtag twinning again have a great day happy reading and see you next time bye